A very good morning, everyone. For youth, I Tathon, I Kazan Sony of Class 10th D. I am Jandi Mitter of Class 10E. And I am Tathon of Class 10D. As a group, have made the foot drug, that is the photo demorization drug. The problem statement on which we are working is when we come from outside, our footwear contains a lot of germs, and thus we should not enter the house with them. Instead, we should change them, which seems as a great task. And the foot demorization drug acts as a solution for this problem statement. It will be a sensor based machine. Thus, as soon as you step it, it will turn on, which is showcased by the red light on left bottom corner of the drug. After which, the germs are shortly killed, as the high energy UVC radiation is strongly absorbed by the genetic material that is DNA or RNA of the microorganisms, damaging their molecular structure via a process called photodemorization, and thereby destroying their ability to replicate and thus infect. <laughs> I will explain you the circuit of this product. The components used for this product are one PIR sensor, which is used for thermal sensing applications such as security and motion detection, two piezo buzzers, that is a type of electronic device that's used to produce a tone alarm or sound, one Arduino Uno board that acts as the brain or controller of this project. This Arduino Uno board contains 14 digital PWM and power analog ins. Then four UVC light bulbs and one red LED for making this project. What we have done is we have connected the PIR sensor's ground to the ground power, its power to five volts, and its signal to minus three digital PWM. Then we have connected one of the piezo buzzers in negative terminal to 13 digital PWM and its positive terminal to negative terminal of the other piezo buzzer. The other piezo buzzer's positive terminal is connected to the anode of the red LED and its cathode is connected to terminal two of one of the UVC light bulbs. Terminal one of this light bulb is connected to terminal two of the second light bulb. The second light bulb's terminal one to terminal two of the third light bulb. The third light bulb's terminal one to terminal two of the fourth light bulb. The fourth light bulb's terminal one is connected to the ground digital PWM. Then, to complete it, we have just made a few changes in the code of this project. Advantages of the machine are that the whole process is done by the machine, thus you don't have to come in contact with the germs. Ultimately, it helps in decreasing the germ rate of your house, institution, or your area. And keeping the current scenario in mind, there's a lot of usage of disposable plastic shoe covers, especially in hospitals, and our products can replace all this plastic and can help in decreasing the plastic waste rate of the environment if used wisely. Now describing the structure, like any other match, this match will also have a strong water resistant base, on top of which will be placed the Arduino Uno hole. The next level will be of a metal sheet 2mm thick, which consists of multiple holes of 1.5cm in diameter. The walls of this metal sheet will be 4cm in height, which is an ideal height for the average shoe size. The next level will be of a silicon pad consisting of two shaped strips with inward extending strips on which on it, uh, inserting feet will create a vacuum like structure resisting any UVC rays light escaping the project. The last level consists of a cloth covering the whole project, leaving the slits and giving the project a dark like look. As estimated, this project will be 7cm tall in height.